Howdy y'all, I'm Around the Wheel. You're watching Isles of Mike and Ike, and while editing footage for the last episode, I realized there's a staircase here, and I didn't go up it or even think about it or anything. And now that I also think about it, I think there's also something over there in that lower or upper left corner. But one thing at a time first. Uh, yeah, there's a key over there, and I bet I know how to get to it, but I'm going to think about this first. There is a puzzle here, it would seem, but can it be done? We can get to a star from here. What we would have to do is fill in this hole using this block. Uh, we would probably do that by... Okay... So only one of these is pushable. So unless you can push one up onto the... Nope, you sure can't. So only one of these is pushable at all to any extent. So if we could get on the other side of this somehow, uh, we could push the block down into the hole and start filling out and start pushing blocks down here, make them hot somehow. And then, yeah, go down, up, and then start, start bringing, bringing stuff over the way. But everything is, everything is kind of blocked off right now. So, oh, oops, didn't even see the spike trap there. I did not think about it at all whatsoever. These embers are just here. What is this down in the corner? That must be another stone golem type of thing. I bet that's. I bet that's what awaits us up here. I bet we might find one of those gods like we did. Yep, screen, fade out to cyan. Ooh. Big old big man with horns on his head. Okay, I am interested in solving his puzzle. Not least of all because that over in the corner looks very important. That looks like the kind of thing that unlocks key blocks and gets us really, gets us really going here. So, all right, how do we want to approach this? Okay, first of all, we've got to be able to reach... Wow, how, how would we reach the bell? How would we ding the bell? We might need the help of someone else. Okay, and we still need four more of the ruby teardrops to probably make him awaken this thing so maybe come back because i don't see anything logistically that helps us out here yeah i would have to i would have to push this over to the left and then go in that door to get that hmm this doesn't look like what we want to be doing right now so I, I'll, I'm going to see if we can get four more of these gems and then maybe come back to this. This is pretty simple. Push this from here to here. Okay, yeah, it doesn't matter that those are destroyed right now. We can just take this right here and go... Oh, no, that's... Oops, that's four. Nope, can't do that. That, that makes a hot block. And... Oh, yeah, I die if I do that. So it's going to take a few more steps to be able to do that, unless you approach it from over here somehow. But that doesn't look like the case. But anyway, let's go somewhere and look for something else. Let's go ahead and I can't go to the right from this screen. Nope, sure can't. So all that remains is over here. So what shall we solve here? We need at least one key to go up. And that's really making me regret putting down six keys on that one puzzle earlier man i'm still raw about that uh so but only one key to get that so as long as we can do some good pushing pushing real good we gotta okay we gotta set something down on purple we can probably do that pretty simply although it's only gonna yeah that's gonna that's way more steps than it would take to get over there. And I'll die if I cross in front of this anyway. Yep, that's not good. So, okay, get something. Okay, we want to use probably this. Probably this block to get on purple, actually. Okay, what? 
two, three. Uh-huh. Cool our feet off. There we go. That opens that up. Very nice. Very nicely done. Okay, so how do we want to... Okay, this one's already sitting on one. So... Mm, I think we can maybe go... Well, no, we can't push that to the left. Not so easily. We'll have to come from around the way. One, two, three, push, push to get that blue switch on there. I think... I'm not sure there's a way to do this that has it looking clean. Okay, I mean, I can do that. Uh, so do we want to get some heat going here? How would we get heat from here? We want to go up. So... So maybe bring this... All right, might take some collaborative work. But, well, yeah, we're not going to worry about that right now. I think we've done what we can do with it. Um, okay. And then I am going to put this right... I'm going to put this here. And I'm going to come around this way and pull this to... Here, it's not going to make it hot. It is going to make it hot. Good. I thought it might, but I wasn't sure. So, um, but, well, hold on. Maybe we can do some other things while we're here. Okay, that's, okay, I'm going to need to step off that for a minute. Two, three, four. Nope, can't unlock that. Son of a gun. And now I'm too hot to move anywhere else. So, that means reset. So what can I actually do from here? Okay, let's see what happens if I do it like this then. Okay, we dunk the blocks. We do have that going. All we have to do is put it on one block. Okay. And if I push it off, it cools off. So all I got to do is go one is two too many is putting it on two too much because then I go one, two, come around, uh, uh, three, and now I only have five steps to get over there. First of all, I want to cool my feet off. I've already... Lost two steps doing that. So that wasn't very smart. Uh, that's too much. That's too much stepping. So. But I do like the idea of putting this here. That does give us a lot of leverage. To do some things. Maybe the idea is to set off a chain reaction. So why don't we try that? <music> Okay, this is the biggest chain setup I know how to make right now. So let's see what it does. Well, hold on, I don't even have to, I've, I've even got one more block I could use here. The only thing is I can't get one right next to this. I can't get two blocks right next to this one. Uh, but maybe it will work. We'll see what happens. Um, one more in the chain reaction. So, I've got a big line here. This is the biggest line I can think to make. Let's make magic happen. Okay, and I get to a safe spot. 
And for all that, it only blew up one block, huh? Uh, and it blew up the one on the Switch first. Well, that's a bummer. Um, maybe I can set up a line. Yeah, that was the best one. That was the best one I knew how to blew up. Or blow up. I'm even losing track of my grammar tenses at this point. Holy cow. But that did not make the big line of boom that I was hoping it would make. That's really unfortunate. But you can blow them up in a line. That is... There is something to be said for that. So... Maybe there's a better line I can make. Hmm... Maybe? Maybe? Please? Please? Yes? Okay, yes, I finally got a cube pattern going that knocked it all out of whack. So we can open this, get this, okay, and get this. Boy, that was well earned. We finally, well, we finally got one key again, so we can unlock something somewhere, uh, and we can go upstairs. Uh, dare I one more level into another puzzle, because that was really tough. Let's see what's up here before we do... Is this something that I can... Well, I can unlock this. There are two stars here. Okay. So, and I've got four of the little ruby things. If I can get to this one more, maybe, that would be... Okay. Oh, oops. Uh, I thought I could push that for just a second. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and reset the room. Um, Do I want to keep going? I don't know how much time I used with that other puzzle. So I don't know. I'm gonna do some I'm gonna do some quick looking and see how much time how much actual time that puzzle took before I see if I can uh, go investigating this. Alright, that last room took me like eight years to solve, but I got about twelve minutes of usable footage out of it. So we can keep going at least a little bit. But I don't think this particular room is doable because you have this right here that I haven't unlocked yet. Plus, you would have to come in from the other end to ding this bell. And I don't, I have not figured out how to do that. I think I will have to find something that extends how long I can walk on fire ground. Perhaps a shoe or a sandal of some sort. They apparently have not invented these things in Isles of Sea and Skyland yet, so... Okay, we can go through here at least, but that just brings us back to here. So... Have to look around and see what's possible to do first. Yeah. At this point, I feel like I'm really running out of options. We may have to go somewhere else. Mm. Wait a minute. I think I can get up there. I think I can get up to the corner. I don't think I realized this before. <gasps> oh, if I can get up to that corner, that might change everything. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, I can step to here. One, two, three. All right, I've got this, and that unlocks those blocks at last. Yes, that really does get something done then. Okay, so we may have a few things to go around and investigate in that case. Uh, that is really good to know. That might make some puzzles very, very doable. We can come over here. What does that do for us? It puts us in a new place at least. Okay, all right. Okay, I'm getting excited. Man, I was worried there for a little bit. I genuinely thought I was going to be leaving this island for a second, but just like that, things have opened right back up. What is here? This looks like just a really long shortcut to... Yeah, this looks like a really long shortcut to just back here, which, I mean, isn't the worst thing, uh, but I would... I have a feeling touching fire is going to be bad. It usually is in this game, believe it or not, but... Okay, so if I come down from... Okay, we need to find as many of these as we can and see what that, how that changes the game. Okay, here's one here. 
That means I can get over on the other side of this and probably, let's see, bring this down. We don't want it to get too hot yet because we want to be able to push it into the lava. We want to make, that means we want to make, okay, how many, how many hit points does this have? Mm, quite not, not quite enough for me to push it. It's going to burn up, right? Yeah, and then I can't do that. I can't hold it on that. But maybe I can if I'm smarter about it. Like if I push it down and then right to heal it up. One, two, three, four. Okay, we've got the switch down. So let's go ahead and pop this off. Okay, now we just got to figure out how to get to the... Now we just got to figure out how to ding... The other bell and that may open up some other things yet still i'd like to get this over i'd like to at least get this if i can at least get this i think i'll be pretty happy um if i want to walk around and how do i let's get this off of here by doing this um and then push I don't know how smart this is, but we'll give it a shot. Put it on here. Yeah, that gets rid of that. Okay, now I'm committed. Uh, I have to come this way and get this, this. Well, that doesn't do squat for me. Uh, the deeper I get into this, the worse off I am. Uh, so I at least know how to get the switch. Well, now that the switch is down, I don't think I have to worry about this side of things anymore although this may give me another usable block that's happened with puzzles before so let's go ahead and i did not mean to step on that i don't want to i don't want to commit too quickly to anything just once i get over to okay yeah mm, well okay if I, as long as i go over here Going up there does nothing for me. I need to come down from there. So what's the best way to do this? So first of all, we want to get this going here. Um, and then maybe once I push this this way. Okay, yeah, here we go. Um, push this here. No, that's I was trying to get on the other side of it. Good lord. Okay, but I have the I have the general rhythm there that I want. Push this one here. Push this over to here and then get this out of the way. Here we go. Yes. And now I can step onto this and at least get this going. Though I don't know what exactly that does for me. Other than give me maybe a little bit of a crawl space. Uh, I know I can probably at least... Yeah, I think at this point... Um, let's go here with this. Okay. Um, I may be able to push this upward if I am careful, which I'm not. I never am. Uh... Can I, though, hmm? Can I? No, I would need to be able to push this up onto the... No, that's exactly the opposite of what I wanted to do. I need to be able to get a block. I wanted to get that up and over to here so that I could then push it down. Well, maybe there's nothing saying I can't push a block down and just get that immediately. Uh, maybe I'm thinking too hard about it. Maybe I just go over here, grab this, come this way. Do this, and then, yeah, I thought way too hard about this. I can grab this immediately. There we go. Six. And why don't we do that? Six is a good stopping point because that gets us enough to make the make the fire god do something. So what is he going to do with six of these in hand? That's all I need is six. Oh, yeah. Well, we're halfway to opening that door. Forgot all about that in the meantime. Now we have little fire dudes walking around. 
And they just spawn at points, I guess? If I touch one? Okay, they can only be pushed in certain directions, though. I think that is... So this one is pointing right. Oh, and if it touches a block, it immediately sets it on fire. Okay. Well, that's definitely something worth working with. Oh, nope. So if you push one into another, what happens? Oh! They shoot... Oh! Oh! You can kind of make them shoot fire. I'm sure that's something we'll be using to our advantage in the very near future. But I'm going to stop here for right now. That doesn't burn your feet sitting there like that, buddy? Hey, man. I'm not judging. You do you.